Hey there, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy, and we are back with another wine review. And for those who are new, I always like to say, these are wines that you can pick up where you shop for wine. Grocery store, liquor store, wine shop, or even a big wine warehouse, you can find some of these wines. I like to call these everyday wines because they're accessible to the wine consumer every day in most of these stores. So I go through make a selection of these wines, give them a taste, and let you know my opinion, what I think about the wines, utilizing the infamous thumb rating system. If you've been following me for quite some time, you know about the thumb rating system. Thumbs up says I recommend that wine. It is a solid wine. You can't go wrong with it. Three quarters. I was introduced to this wine or I had this wine at a party. I enjoyed it so much. I brought a couple of bottles myself and wanted to share with my friends. Pretty good wine. Halfway, whoo. There's something about that wine that's off from my palate. It doesn't make it a bad wine. But you give it a taste and let me know and all of the rest of us that follow know what you thought about the wine. Okay? It just didn't work for me, but I'll tell you why it didn't work for me. Thumbs down? Well, that's always an easy one. And then there's always the infamous double thumbs up. If you see that double thumbs up, you know, it is a, a good recommendation to give it a try. Again, everyone's palate is going to be different, but I'm giving you my opinion. So, you can see that today's wine is going to be Joel Gott. Funny thing about Joel Gott, there seems to be like this this uh, uh, retail competition thing going on here between Joel Gott and Josh Wines, especially when it comes to Cabernet. I mean, they have the same label, so it's easy to get the two of them confused because of the color of the label. I mean, the script on the label is different, but the color of the label is the same. So, if, you know, if, you, if you're drinking Josh, but you wanted Joel, make sure you get Joel. If you're drinking Joel, you want a Josh, make sure you get Josh. But that being said, there is a difference in the taste between those two wines for sure. So if you have a chance, taste the Joel Cabernet and the Josh Cabernet side by side. Same vintage if you can. So today's show though is about Joel Cabernet. This is a 2019 uh, Cabernet by Joel Gott, 815. Now, here's something that's unique about this Cabernet. It's probably unique about most of their vintages of Cabernet, but definitely for this one, 100% Cabernet. Hear me, 100% Cabernet. How rare is that? Most of the Cabernets out there, you know, there'll be some Cabernet, there may be like 2% of this, a 5% of that, a 3% of that, you know, maybe multiple grapes in there, but maybe like what, 75 or 85% of that is going to be Cabernet, so they call it Cabernet. So it's rare when you come across a Cabernet that is all Cabernet uh, to the wine. Now, I had to write something down here for this one here, because what Joel did was he sourced Cabernet grapes from across California, from north to south or south to north. He hit Napa, Lake County, Paso Robles, Monterey, Santa Barbara, Mendocino, Lodi, each of those contributing something unique to this wine, each individually fermented and then barrel aged. They do have an 18-month barrel aging program, American Oak, and then a final blend is made, you know, for the wines of the grapes. The wines made from the grapes coming from the different appellations. So let's give it a try. This is coming in at, what is that, alcohol. You know, I say this all the time. They're going to put the alcohol in the same spot one day. This is coming in at 13.9% alcohol. <laughs> Hades Corker. I don't know if you heard that fizz because I was talking, but there's the fizz. Let's give this a pour. Now, I don't have a white background, so I'm going to have to use my orange background, which still kind of works the same. I mean, the coloring in this, you know, you have like a, started off as red, then it goes into a garlic, then it goes into a deep ruby, you know, down below. Wow, I mean, beautiful coloring on this wine. Can you get a look at that color? You know, it doesn't do any justice in the camera, you know, but that's a really nice color in this wine. And the nose. I mean, I can smell the nose of here, from here. Nice berries, berries and spice. You can smell just from here on this wine. Now let's take it deeper. Let's move this over here. Mm. Now, what's what's so exciting for me of this is, it, is that it's 100% Cabernet. You know, I mean, that's, again, I keep repeating, it's rare. And when we get we get so caught up in some of these wines that say Cabernet, but there's other grapes to it, sometimes there may be like four grapes added to that wine. You know, but, but we rarely get a chance to taste just a Cabernet. And so this I'm looking forward to. I mean, that nose, I mean, it picks up. 
Again, the berries, the spice. Ooh, wow, the spice. You can get subtle hints of that smokiness of the wood. Oh my, some vanilla. I mean, it just it just keeps evolving every time I smell it. You know, I take shallow uh, uh, inhales, then deep inhales. It just keeps evolving on the nose. Wow, that's a wonderful nose on this wine. Mmm, ash. A little bit of caramelization. Wow, <laughs> that nose is complex. It just keeps evolving, keeps changing. You know, those legs are nice. You know, so we're gonna give it a taste now. What do I taste for wines? Number one, acidity. No acidity, no play in this wine. Here we go. Oh, I need retail. This retails anywhere from uh, $14.99 to $17.99, right? Depending on where you're shopping. May, may even go to like $20.99, but between $14.99 and $17.99, you can find this wine. Oh wow, medium tannins. It has a, a silkiness to it in the mid palate. Acidity is nice, okay? Mouth is watery. Wow, so tannins, nice, good structure. Acidity is nice, makes the mouth water. It's, it's pretty lively. Down for the taste. Wow. I like the spiciness. The mouthfeel is nice. The finish is nice. Doesn't skip on the fruit. That's why I do a complete mouth rinse. My mouth is still watering. Doesn't skip on the fruit at all. And there's a there's a, a silkiness to it, you know, with the fruit that, that coming that's coming together here. But then you pick up on Wow, you pick up on some of that that toastiness, you know, from the wood. Subtle cedar notes to it. You know, some would call it pencil shavings, but I call it cedar. You know, so that's pretty nice too. A little ash. You know, but it doesn't skimp on the fruit. Not at all. I mean I can still taste this wine. As it begins as as the dark berry fruit begins to dissipate, as it, 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 it more I speak, you know, the air is coming in. I get more of, of a finish of plum and tobacco. Wow. Wow. It's just, it's nice. Mmm. There's a little mocha or chocolate there too. It just keeps changing each and every time I sip this wine. But to me, it's not like heavy laden either. You know, it has a very nice elegance to it at 13.9%. So it's not heavy laden, has a nice mouthfeel, nice balance to it. And the nose, that's, oh wow. The nose as well as the taste just keeps evolving. Mm. All right, so the Wisconsin Wine Guy is gonna give the Joel Gott 2019 815 Cabernet Sauvignon, 100%, let's say that, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm going to give this a double thumbs up. I mean, that's that's a really that's a really nice cab. You know, I mean, it's in the class by itself being 100% cab. You know, uh, at this price point, can't go wrong with it. Double thumbs up on this. Way to go, Joel. You know, and the, doing that final blend and, and bringing all of the, the, the balance to this particular wine. I'm digging it. I hope you dig it. And I'm going to pour myself some more. Maybe I can find something to pair with it. But it's your Wisconsin wine, guys. Saying as always, let your palate be the guide when selecting your wine. Double thumbs up. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Ciao.